And at the end of that round, David's team have six points and Gary's team have six points. <laughs> Time for sporting men and women everywhere to cower in fear as we play Field of Sportsmen. Gary and Rory, you're up first. <laughs> And can we have our first mystery guest, please? <laughs> oh, I've had this dream before. <laughs> OK, and your time starts now. This is a bloke with an oversized anti-wanking device. <laughs> Where are you, Gary? Say something. Over here, Rory. Over here. Thank you. There's something here. Uh, What's this? <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's Dwight York! <laughs> Is it Jonathan Woodgate talking to a witness? <laughs> <laughs> One bloke behind another. It's not the uh, um, Chicago fudge packers or anything, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a tiny little bloke here, Rory. Look, little Where bloke. are you? Yeah. <laughs> Linus, some another one. Is that, is that your helmet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, bad luck. It's, in fact, the British baseball team. I'm surprised you didn't get baseball there, lads, when you actually felt the bat roar. That would have been a giveaway, personally. It, we was, he was too rush. busy trying to get in the, oh, Gary, is this your helmet joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now baseball. It doesn't have a high profile in this country yet, but two players from Tunbridge are hoping to change that. They'll both be in the British team later this week, but their aim is the World Championships and possibly even the Olympics. The first time I played baseball, just when I hit the ball and I saw the ball fly and it carried on and on, I just fell in love with the game. Nick Carter and Alex Malihudis have been practising baseball together since childhood and they're among the best players in the UK, even if not many people appreciate it. A few friends at university have said nobody knows you and you play for Great Britain and it's, it's, it's unfortunate but I've got to carry on just doing what I'm doing. To pursue their love of the sport, both players went to the United States with mixed success. For the first few months I was out there, I thought maybe I have a chance. And then when the American football season ended at my high school and all the really good athletes came out, I, I looked at them play and I thought, wow, these guys are really good. It's going to be a lot harder than I thought. Nick and Alex now play for the Brighton Buccaneers, the best baseball team in England. They'll both be in the British team to face Sweden later this week and they believe the national team is making progress. We're in the top ten in Europe. Potential to be a top four team and go to the World Championships. Obviously, there's a difference between the way of playing now and our potential, but I really feel that we could, we could reach that, that level in the next European Championships. Whilst there's no doubting Nick and Alex's dedication, they know cricket is still our national summer game. We're never going to be better than cricket. We just want to exist with cricket. We want to be on a par with cricket. We want to be recognised the same as cricket. Mm. It's a good game. <laughs> Best of luck to Nick, Alex and the Buccaneers. That's the sport. Hi guys, we mentioned uh, last weekend some baseball action happening all over this weekend. Uh, a friendly between the GB baseball team and Sweden who are over here. And of course our very own Just Chetwin was playing. And we sent Eric down with a camera to catch some of the action. If you happen to have been around the Waltham Cross area in Essex this weekend, well, you might have just stumbled across some baseball history. This tournament here, it's actually not a tournament, it's an international series. It's the first friendly series of games that we've had here against another national team since 1980. We've actually hosted the European B pool a few times, but this is the first time we've actually got a top 12 European team to come over and play against us. It's a big deal, and we're really proud to have them, and it's nice that we're playing very competitive baseball. It's just, it's just good to you know, represent your country in, in your own fields, which we haven't had an opportunity to do for some time. So. Let's hope it carries on. Yeah. While baseball may have some grassroots here in the UK, Sweden are having a fair go at making it grow in the land of cars that are safe and cubed. Well, it's, it's, it's a very small sport. Soccer and ice hockey takes all the time, and uh, we, you know, we do our best, and we love it, and that's what we want to do. It's basically a friendly series against Sweden. It's been 20 years since we've hosted an international top-ranked team. 
and uh, hopefully after this weekend, the success that it's going to produce for the game, we're going to carry on and just keep doing that every year, hopefully. Well, it's all friendly, you know, you work in different pitchers and, uh, you know, it's a completely different game every game, you know, you just work out some guys, you got some young guys that want to play, you don't put the starting nine all, all the time out there, so, you know, you got different guys out there all the time. So Josh, two for five today, you happy? Solid day, good start, I'm really happy because we won, that's the key. Everybody played well, you know, we had some of the best players in Britain here today, but we were missing one, one guy who could have probably even made a greater difference. And the question is, Johnny Gould, where were you? We missed you. Well, it could have been unbelievable. Where you. were you? I'll tell you where I was. I sat on the M25 for two and a bit hours trying to get there and eventually gave up. M25, great car park. Well, time now to focus on local baseball from the best in the major leagues to the best here in the UK, the final four in Croydon. Well, it's that time of year again. It's the British Baseball Federation final four tournament. It's our sixth season in a row covering it. But this year, it's not in Brighton. I'm here with Tom Gillespie, Director of Baseball Development. And Tom, why aren't we in Brighton this year? Well, a couple different reasons, Eric. We wanted to have a bit of change of venue. Uh, Croydon gives us a lot more room. We've got both the softball nationals here as well as the baseball nationals. We've got two full-size baseball fields that are committed to baseball here. And more than anything, just keep it from getting stagnant as we want to get closer to London. Not saying we won't go back to Brighton in the future, but just for years to try something new. Well, we got Nick Carter here, who's a six-year veteran this tournament. And Nick, you know, you've been through thick and thin in this tournament, and uh, have you noticed a stand the standard of baseball growing in this, in this, in this country, basically? Um, it's, certainly, it's certainly growing, but it's also getting to a point where it's plateauing, and there's always, we need to just keep pushing it. Obviously, help with uh, Major League Baseball International will always help that. Uh, it's always good to have foreign players coming over, but we really need to concentrate on getting the youth players that aren't making the transition from youth baseball to senior baseball. So it's really, we need to concentrate hard on youth baseball to push them into the senior baseball, really. So do you see more people are getting involved in the sport? I think so. I mean, it's we, the numbers say that they are. There's more people that are calling all the time, looking for ways to join a team or start a team. It's just trying to find ways to, to help them out so that we can get there. Oh, that looked like great fun, didn't it? Well, last week we saw the 50th anniversary of the baseball cap. So who better to have here in the studio than the British baseball team None of whom are wearing their caps, but look, how many caps have you got? Twelve? Ten. Ten. <laughs> one, one per head. Lift them up, everybody. Let's have a look at the caps. There you go, to prove it. A little bit of promoing there, GB. Um, Stefan, you're the head coach. You guys aren't going to the Olympics. Uh, where did it all go wrong? Well, the Olympics actually only permit eight na nations to participate, and uh, GB is not near the top eight at this point. But frankly, that's not much of a, uh, of a downer for GB baseball, considering the United States which is the, of course, the home of baseball, also did not qualify. For I couldn't believe that when I saw that this morning. Why, how come they didn't qualify? They made it, they invented it. Well, they're in a tough qualifying group, uh, but the other, the other factor is that baseball is not normally played on a single elimination basis. But once the U.S. reached the, the medal round in the, in the North American, Latin American pool, they played a single elimination game against Mexico. Mexico threw an outstanding pitcher, and that outstanding pitcher beat America, and, and, and frankly, it's all, only one pitcher that can make a difference in a baseball We've game. got a pitcher here, haven't we? Well. <laughs> you. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Pressure, then, if you're the pitcher, isn't it? If you're the person who can win or lose the game. Firstly, I'd like to say I appreciate the fact you call me a pitcher and not a bowler. That leads me... That, that <laughs> a little bit of knowledge, just a That touch. leads me to believe that you're in the know. A <laughs> little bit of a pub. Um, <laughs> it really de it depends a lot of experience. Um, I mean, I've played in the States myself, so I've, I've played for over 15 years now. So pressure at first, yeah, but it, it comes with experience and knowledge, basically, and you learn to override that. And why play baseball? Why not play something that's probably a little bit more po popular here, like football or cricket? Uh, well, I'll be honest with you, I'm a PE teacher, and I've a big reason for me is I teach a lot of baseball and softball in schools, and when it's taught well, kids just go absolutely crazy. They go nuts. So a big, a big issue for me that needs to be addressed is in teacher training. We need to get this... We need to get baseball in teacher training so that kids are exposed to baseball and it's something new, exciting, and they love okay, it. Okay, just very quickly, when are we going to be the Olympics then? When are we actually going to get in That's there? That's down to this guy, head coach. When's he it needs, be? Give he me needs a to date. get us there. Just, give me a date, Stefan. When London gets the Olympics in 2012, we'll be yeah. there with Lord Cole. Okay, yeah. thanks both very so, much indeed. Best of luck. That, that was a bit of campaigning for Mr. Cole there. <laughs> anyway, um, that is uh, <laughs> just about it from us for this week.